Okay, what is up people of YouTube? I have a video for you today that's going to make your life so much easier. Okay, so pretty much what this video is about, if you couldn't read the title, is how to get a way better connection on the Sony PlayStation 3 or PSN or whatever the fuck you're going to call it. If, you ha if you're like me, you have problems and you're lagging all the time. So, I have problems with lagging all the time, and it's because I have so many people on my network connection, like... I have my PlayStation, I have the computer that I'm on currently, I have my iPhone, I have my sister's phone, my mom's laptop, all connected to Wi-Fi. So what you're going to do to make your connection good and still be able to use all that stuff is, first off, you're going to need an active internet connection, obviously, or you wouldn't be watching this video, and a router. So first things first is you're going to go to right here, well first off, before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, you're going to use this thing called quality of service to set priorities of the internet connection. So go to your internet browser, and then after that opens up, you're gonna go to your router's IP. So I have a, Linksys, a Cisco Linksys router, so mine's 192.168.1.1. And this is for a Linksys router only, so um, yeah, I don't know how to do it on a Belkin router or anything like that. So just a Cisco Linksys router. I have a Linksys E1200 router. So when you log into it, if it asks you for like a little dialog box like you saw before for a username and password, all you need is the password, and the password is going to be whatever password you have set for your internet. So if your internet has a password like anything, like let's say to get into your internet you have to have a password and your password's like dog, you would type dog right there. But if you don't have a password and it still asks you one, try ADMIN or just administ administer or like, yeah, something like that. So when you get right here, this is the home page of Cisco. So it say setup, wireless, security, access policy, applications and gaming, administration and statuses. I'm going to have you click on applications and gaming. Now when this loads, you're going to see a little sub links down here. You're going to see single port forwarding port range forwarding, port range triggering, DMZ, IPv6 firewall, and QoS, which stands for quality of service. You're going to click on QoS, which is on the far right, right there. Okay, now when you see this, you're going to see this little thing right here. It's the internet access priority. This is going to be checked on disable, but you need to go ahead and click enable on that. And then a bunch of this stuff will pop up. Well, just this stuff right here will pop up because this is what you're going to have set. So anyways, right here, you're going to click, man it's going to be set on auto, but you're going to click manual. You're going to make that manual, and whatever speed you have set for your internet, like, let's say you have a 10 megabyte per second download speed and whatever the hell you're paying for it, you're going to type 10 right there. But I have 2, so I'm going to type 2 right there. And then it's going to be set at kilobytes per second, just change that to megabytes per second. Alright, now in here, just leave this the same, and let's go over to applications and just click add new application. Now, okay, applications, click the drop down box, add a new application. Okay. Um, right here, you're gonna type just like PlayStation, whatever. This is just the name doesn't matter what it is, it's just to help you choose what it is. So you know. Now, in box number one, you're gonna put 80. And then in box number two, you're going to put 81. Now, this little drop down box is going to be TCP, that first little one. And then in the bottom one, or the middle one, it's going to be 443. Four, and then over here, it's going to be 444. Four, four. And that's going to be TCP. And the very bottom one is going to be 5223. Two, three over to 5224 and that is again going to be TCP All right. now how lag works is when you get so many things connected to your network it's gonna like it spreads out the, the internet and it's gonna share it with everything so that means it's gonna take priority away from your one thing so it will spread out through everything so let's say your PlayStation is the only thing connected to your internet you're gonna have high priority. It's gonna be the only thing using your internet. And then something else gets on and you're gonna have like a medium thing. Or like a medium priority. So your connection's gonna like not be as good as it would be if it was the only thing on connected to the network. 
So, and then you're gonna have normal, which is horrible, and then low, which is like, fuck my life, kill me now, kind of connection. Not high is not really recommended because if you set your PlayStation to high, that means whenever your PlayStation connects to the internet, everything else connected to the internet's gonna get their internet like they're not gonna be able to connect to the internet, and just your PlayStation is using the internet. I have mine on on medium, so medium priority is what I have mine set to, and then click apply. Now, next time you sign into PlayStation Network, you're going to see a ridiculous change in your like experience. It's going to be a lot smoother and better. Now, this works for me. I, if it doesn't work for you, then I'm sorry. I wasted your time, I guess. I mean, it couldn't hurt to do it. It worked for me, and I used to one bar every time my phone would just like be on the internet. And now I have my phone, this computer, my sister's computer, or my mom's computer, I mean, and my sister's phone on the internet, and I have four bar or three bar every game, and I do fine. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's mine right there. And that's all you really do. And then you're just going to click Save Settings. And your settings have been successfully saved. And it will reapply all this. And then it will reload the page. And there you go. That is how you do it. And I hope this helps you guys. It helped me. And I know how I'd feel if somebody knew how to fix something, but they didn't really feel like telling it. And that's why I made this video because I want to help other people that don't know how to do this or are having trouble the same stuff I had trouble with and now it's working fine for me so thank you guys subscribe if you like this like if you like this comment and tell me if it worked for you well, that's it so thanks guys bye <coughs>